What do you want? <laughs> Wait, you're not Tom. I know. Episode 3, Road to 505. See, see Tom? He's like all serious when he's left, he's like, and then when he's not, he's like, <laughs> Joby! <laughs> it's called balanced mindset. Explain the balance. I can't explain balanced mindset, that's my secret only, right? <laughs> What'd you say? You ever got a personal loader? <laughs> Weight progression, brother. Oh, but you're going to work in my brother. Here, here, here. Here, here, here. I'm Todd Stubborn, the strongest on the land. You come to my place, you die. Still didn't answer my question. <laughs> Feel, buddy. That's okay. Uh, is that your second set? Or? Second set. Fourth. Fourth. Just the breathing again. Just gotta get fit. Come on, Tom. So the last set for you. Set up. DJ Cal. Another one. I'll see ya tomorrow. and it was three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I mentally wasn't there. When I went into the gym, I was very stressed. Uh, a few things happened that day. No, there's no excuses, but anyway, just stressed out, didn't feel up for it, didn't feel myself and 
I kind of knew as soon as I was doing the warm ups that it wasn't going to be a good session, but I still tried and attempted it, um, which is very, very important. You know, I'm a professional athlete and I don't just always go into the gym and feel amazing and feel strong. A lot of the times I go into the gym and have sessions like these, but it's how you come back from them. So, yeah, first session of the month didn't go to plan, but um, hopefully we can uh, build from this. I hate not hitting what's said in the plan. So, if Dan sends me through a plan and it says exactly what needs to be hit. I hate when I don't hit it, and I just, like I said, feel that I don't know if I'm training hard enough, or if Dan's programming the wrong stuff, if Nathan's not putting enough food in my diet, and everything just goes through my my mind. And like I said, I go home and I just crumble and just not know what to do. So yeah, it's kind of it's really really hard. But these are the things that you know you need to kind of speak about and let people know that you know I I have these days as well. And my advice would just be to. You know, don't don't beat yourself up about it. There's, you know, you guys that go to the gym, girls that go to the gym. Every single person that goes to the gym is going to have a bad day in the gym. Like like you have a bad day at work. Like you have a bad day. Just have a bad day. Everyone's going to have a bad day in the gym. You can't be 100% strong all the time. It's impossible by any person in this world to be every single day. 100% you know the same strength or stronger there's always going to be days where you know if like I said for me it was the stress of that day and stuff that happened I couldn't you know I couldn't function properly whereas people might go into it and had a bad day at work go to the gym and their session is really bad and then they might doubt themselves like I did and say oh they're weak I can't do this blame their coach blame their nutritionist blame their wife and do stuff like that dwell on it for like an hour or so but then try and just put it in the back of your mind Try and just chill out that night and watch, you know, watch a movie or sometimes I even, not even follow the diet the rest of the night. Sometimes I might just go home, watch a movie and have a cheat meal and feel sorry for myself. And then the next day, wake up refreshed and ready to go. So it's really just important not to dwell on it too much and just to get it out your system as soon as, <coughs> sorry, out your system as soon as possible. Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. I just come there. Oh, these are just dropping like their flies. They're dropping like flies. The new sponsor for this video, Hello Fresh, who have kindly, as I've said, sponsored the video and will help you with your meal prep needs. Hello Fresh offers a wide variety of meals, from vegetarian meals to low calorie meals, and even if you're cooking with your family, they've got you covered. And even better, it now comes with easy to follow recipes. So you can now cook delicious meals in the kitchen without weighing out ingredients, without doing all the hassly things. You don't have to spend hours and hours in the kitchen to create some delicious meals. HelloFresh have an exciting offer when you use the discount code STOPMAN60. So they are offering you 60% off your first box and as well, they're also offering 25% off your next eight boxes plus some free gifts. So check out the first link in the description below or go to hellofresh.co.uk forward slash Stolten60 and use the discount code Stolten60 to enjoy a home cooked meal without all the stress. Look out for future videos, we will show you how easy it is to use HelloFresh. There you go. Oh, is that, you can feel that down there? Ah, uh, yeah. There. That's so if you, if you keep trying to stay in your bath, and I'll do that. Is that okay? Yeah. Just a two. It feels like it's just, it's just blocked a little bit for You see what Hold it for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'll do one more just a bit. Yeah. You see when it's tight. Still okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, so. Let's do this. Yeah? What's my best? 
doing the motions and started both. What weight was that? Like? Uh, up to 280 now, I think. How did I feel? Yeah, if I just takes me a minute just to get used to my belt breathing and stuff, so hopefully the next set I'll uh, yeah, probably do some reps with that 300 just to see, get that breath. It's one of the things I struggled um, is when I'm coming back and getting my breathing right, but we'll see. Tom, come on. Come on, Tom. Come on. Got it, Tom. Come on. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come on. One more, Tom. Come on. Easy. Good job. Come on! How was that session? Good, yeah. Um, nothing fantastic, but I think uh, last week's deadlifts, um, Tom was doing sets again with 320. I did I think 280. 300 then I'm up to 320 for threes um, so this week yeah it's nice just to still increase but not at the same rate as we were the last couple of weeks because it's um, about being a bit we are a bit more sensible sometimes I'll see what happens when I come to log on Friday I'll probably try and do 200 and kill myself so sensible sensible Mondays fun day Fridays that's what we have to do how was today's session, brother? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to deadlift today because of my legs, so it's good, 320 for free. I was being greedy and trying to 340, but um, to do that with one leg is quite good, so onwards we go. It was good. Guys, so that's our last, or that's the 505 video done. And um, as you can see, didn't start off against the best for you, Big Tommy, and you persevered, really smashed it, pushed on. Um, so it's, it's a big in, improvement, I think, um, from that first first week. Feel a lot better. Yeah, feel a lot better. Annoying the legs, playing up a wee bit, but I strapped up one too. Just took some pre-workout, went mental, and did 320 again. So to build 320, I'm basically one legs happy enough with. So hopefully next week we can keep on hacking away and keep on improving. So yeah, the tra training's changing a little bit in in prep for Arnold. So. Uh, concentrating more on that heavy lift rather than the, the accessory stuff which I think is really important so 
Um, been having chats with Dan the last little while, so changing changing things up to have the the big push now for the Arnold Classic, which will be pretty cool. So yeah, nice to get it done. Nice to get. As Tom says he's got a lot of a, a niggle on his leg, so try and rehab that as best we can, and then we'll push on. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay safe, smile, and stay safe. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding -a Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the law press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 